let's look at this question. So option E, paper question. The first one being define reflex. Unfortunately, with some of these definition questions, you just need to know them back to front. And while I don't know them back to front like I did before, I now know that it's a rapid unconscious response occurring in, in, um, as a result of a stimulus or in response to a stimulus. And I've said response twice, but that's okay. Just need to know these definitions. Now the next one is something that I can give you a bit more assistance with. Draw a diagram of a pain withdrawal reflex. You need to do five, at least five different uh, parts of the pain withdrawal reflex. And I always start with the sen sensory side. Now I'm an artist, so I've drawn a lovely picture of a finger there. But within the finger itself, you've got some the sensory receptors or the pain receptors in this in the pain withdrawal reflex. And these feed along a sensory neuron, which then synapses within the spinal cord itself. And uh, this is not something that you need to know, but it actually and synapses or connects in the dorsal column of the of the spinal cord and as we draw this along here as we're being patient what it synapses to within the gray matter of the spinal cord is a relay neuron and this is just like another another neuron that it connects to before synapsing with the motor neuron so while I label the sensory neuron and uh, the relay neuron, then what I'm going to do next is finally talk about uh, the, the motor neuron, which is what I'm labeling here right now. And the motor neuron, that is uh, an output uh, neuron, and that connects finally to the effector, or, or in this case, the muscles of the finger. And this causes your finger to jerk back as soon as you touch um, or experience any pain. Third question. Explain the roles of sensory and motor neurons in the pain withdrawal reflex. So this pain, the pain stimulus, which is the stimulus at the start, is converted to an action potential or converted to a message which can be carried along by the sensory neuron to the spinal cord. And that's the second point. The action potential or message is then transferred to the spinal cord and then this is then processed well, not even process, in fact, but just directly connects to the motor neuron and thus causing a reflex withdrawal. Let's talk about the motor neuron action itself. So what happens is that the signal is transmitted from the spinal cord to the finger muscles. The finger muscles are also known as effectors because they are the action um, which occurs as a result of the stimulus. The second point being that these finger muscles then contract and the contraction causes the finger to jerk back and then causes you to move away from the stimulus. Relatively simple question. Um, what I like about this is that you can draw a diagram to really show the examiners that you know what you're doing and, uh, the, yeah, and the explanations um, from then on can be really easily um, done just by following the outline of the diagram.